All right. Um, I got a uh, email from a friend yesterday. He lives uh, about a mile away from me, and um, he said he had some stuff that he rescued from being put in the trash can and wanted to know what some of these things were. He had some questions. And so I went over to his house to take a look at his pile, and he gave me some things. Um, now, when I was looking in his garage, um, when I walked in, I immediately saw this thing from about 10 feet away, and I knew what it was. Um, it has no markings, okay? It's got no markings at all of any kind on it. Um, but from the size, I knew exactly what it was. So uh, if, if you're one of those strange people who know <laughs> because of the size of what something is, they know exactly what's inside. Uh, yeah, I don't know if that's a curse or, yeah, I don't know. <laughs> But uh, it's a piece of military equipment, okay? So it's, it's, it's gray, so it's probably Navy, um, but I don't know for sure. Um, and let's open it up. Let me move the camera a bit. All right. Yes, indeed. It's a Hickok uh, tube tester. Um, now, oh, I don't want to smash it into anything over here. Um, so let's zoom over. Okay, so this is a TV-7U slash 7A slash U. Now I know there's probably a dozen different models of this thing, and um, I don't know how to tell them apart. I'll, I, I know they're all documented online. I'll have to figure out what kind, what kind this one is, and get the actual manual for it. Although I do have the manual here. Um, so it does. It looks like it's complete with some leads and stuff. I don't know, I don't know how those are used. Comes with an adapter socket, so that looks like it's original as well. It comes with the book. Is that on? I don't think the book's on camera up there. So it comes with the book here. It's a little, it's it's attached to the machine, so there's a little, a little punch hole binder here, and it has all of the tubes in it. So you look up the tube numbers, and it tells you how to do all of these. Uh, all of these settings down here. Uh, some Velcro on, that's easy. So interesting, maybe somebody added that later because I don't think Velcro was around when this thing was invented. Um, it's got some more, uh, it's got some more test sockets, adapter sockets. Looks like it's got some uh, tube straighteners here. Yeah, it's got two different tube straighteners. So that's pretty cool. Uh, oh, this is Army. Okay. Uh, it says uh, Department of the Army, 1962. Um, you can see here all the different, the 7, 7 slash U, 7A slash U, 7B, and the 7D. So I have the 7A slash U. Um, I'm sure tons of you, uh, tons of you already have one of these at home. Uh, I had a, uh, a Hickok Cardmatic, if anybody knows what that is. I used to have a Cardmatic. I sold it. Um, that's a beast. <laughs> uh, but uh, yeah, this one looks really cool. It's got some sockets here for some little sub-miniatures. It's got lots of different knobs, that's for sure. Grid, plate, screen, cathode, suppression, function, switch, filament, filament, bias, shunt, Got these nice buttons over here for the tests and stuff. I have no idea if it works. Filament voltage. Oh, it's a click click thing. Oh, interesting. Off. Wow. Well, that's pretty cool. All right. Uh, I do have one tube laying on my bench. It's been laying here for a long time. It's a 12, 12 AU7. Uh, maybe we should. Uh, Try to straighten the pins on it. There we go. Now we've got straight pins and we can pop it in a socket, I guess. Look at that. Um, yeah, so let me play with it for a while and uh, let you guys know what I think about it. I do have a real cheesy um, tube tester that I that I keep. Uh, it kind of does what this one does. I don't think this one does the fancy stuff. I think this is mostly just... Uh, 
the simple type of tube, tips, tube tester doesn't teach, doesn't test uh, gain or anything like that. I might be wrong, but uh, I don't think it does. Um, but yeah, it's a classic. I'm glad to have it. We'll uh, have to figure out, see if it works.